So, you've written a history book. Well, yes. OK, I get it. We've gone boring. What? We've gone boring. I always knew the day would come. Jokes are a young man's game. You get a couple of decades tops and then you're bound to retreat into mansplaining. It is not mansplaining. It's actually a very amusing book about the fascinating... Fascinating? That's a red flag. What do you mean? Well, if you're fascinated, everyone else might be bored. What are you talking about? Fascinated is the opposite of bored. If you're so fascinated, how can you ever really know when you're being boring? Going on a bit about all the bloody kings. Or, or maybe the struggle for survival in a subsistence-based agrarian economy. Don't worry, there's none of that. Figures. So what, kings? Yes, kings and queens. Very woke. Why, David? Why? It's funny. It's weird. English kingship hasn't always been about well-meaning people who open supermarkets. For centuries, kings and queens were genuinely in charge. Just because of their parents or a gold hat that got plonked on their heads in church. It, it's really exceptionally odd and brutal and exciting. And they're interesting because they were important. Important people don't tend to be boring. It's why someone from the government is always much more interesting to watch on TV than someone from the opposition. Oh, turned Tory now, have we? No, I haven't turned Tory. I said interesting, not nice or good or right. People with power grab the attention because they affect things more than people who want power. And these rulers had power, and the consequences were neither boring nor nice. Why should I read it? Why? Well, I'm pretty screwed if you're asking that, when you are literally me. But don't bother. Don't bother reading a book that another aspect of yourself has slaved over for months and months. You just keep watching old episodes of Inspector Morse over and over again. No, I mean, why should I read it? In order to be a decent and supportive alter ego. That's why. What I meant was, why should people read it? Not literally me, who, in a weird sense, and we obviously don't want to get too much into this or this whole thing will fall apart, is also you and so wrote it. Best glossed over, yes. Well, people should read it, because if you want to get your head around the weirdness of Britain today, you have to have a sense of where that came from, and that's history. And if you want to learn about history, this is, I hope, a not just painless, but positively enjoyable way of doing that. It's funny. They, they say comedy is tragedy plus time, and English history contains a lot of tragedy to which a lot of time has been added. So you can have a jolly good laugh at all the problems that the long dead suffered from. Goodness, you're getting all passionate about it. I am not passionate about it. Sorry. It's interesting. It's not arousing. Passionate doesn't just mean arousing. Not nowadays. Get with the development of language. Passionate about can now mean extremely enthusiastic to maximise the retail potential of. Really? Yeah, as in here at Dom's we're passionate about pizza. Why did you bleep? But because it's a brand name. Which one was it? P no. Fr no. P no. No. Yes. They say they're passionate about pizza. Yes. Christ. Well, I wouldn't want to taste it if they didn't give a shit. Exactly. They just mean they want to sell loads. Right. Well, I'm pretty passionate then. Pre-order your signed copy now at Waterstones.